Chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably heard of this thing called Warpcast, and you're like, what the snap is that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that you guys need to know about Warpcast, how to get started, how to set up your wallets, how to create your profile, as well as farm and earn some free DGEN tokens. But if you guys are new to the channel, I talk all things crypto, DeFi, NFTs, you name it. That's your cup of tea, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and tell me where you guys are watching this video from. Let's go and get into it. All right, so first things first is if you are navigating the site and trying to do this on your computer, it's not going to work. You need to sign up and get started via an Apple or a Android device. You can get this on Google Play or on the App Store. And once you download this app, it is going to cost like five or $10, that's a one-time fee. But Coinbase, they do have a little special. It looks like this. You can earn five dollars in op tokens for signing up for farcaster so technically when you sign up for farcaster it's basically going to be free now you may have caught i just accidentally called it farcaster but farcaster is the blanket term for the decentralized social apps there's actually a couple of them you have like farquest you have dracula dracula is basically like a decentralized TikTok. And there's a bunch of different ones, but in this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about Warpcast. This is kind of like your decentralized Twitter. So the difference between this one and Twitter is obviously it, it's not Twitter, but it's more crypto focused. You're basically navigating through these different pages and these different tweets or uh warps i guess you want to call them here and you have a wallet integrated into your account so you can mint nfts directly into the platform using frames you can tip people in the dgen token so think of it like twitter but you actually have a wallet integrated into the app so you can just do a lot more things so you will need to sign up with this on your phone i will drop a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and get started with warpcast and i'll leave a link to the Coinbase wallet as well, if you guys want to get started with that, so you guys can earn some free token. So you can basically get paid to sign up for this. Now, after you sign up, it will look something like this. Well, this is my feed, so it'll probably look a little bit different for you guys, but you need to do a couple of things when you first sign up. First thing you need to do is go to your profile. Once you go under your profile, you click edit profile. This is where you're going to add your addresses. Under the verified addresses, this is where you are going to add your wallet address. This is really important that you do this because if you are not doing this, you basically don't have your wallet integrated to your account. So if people are giving you tips, you aren't getting those tips. And if you are minting these NFTs, it is not going to work. That's step number one. Step number two is add one of these hats. This hat is basically allowing you to tip and give out some DGEN tokens. So make sure you add this hat to your name. Now with that out of the way, now it's time to pick a couple of the channels that you guys want to check out. Now, obviously when you're first getting onto the platform, it is going to be a little bit like, who in the world do I follow? What do I do? Well, you can follow yours truly and I will tip you some DGEN. Once you get on the platform, just be like, yo Drake, I joined because of you and I will send you some DGEN. I've already had a, actually there's some people that I need to tip some DGEN, DGEN now, but I'll send out tips to anyone who is like, yo, Drake, can I get some degen? Like this guy, joining the de degeneracy. Thanks, Drake. Here's some degen. Have some fun. But yeah, if you guys join the platform, tag me. I will tip you guys some degen and make sure you guys have a fresh and fun start with Warpcast. Now, we need to find some of the channels that we want to go in. Now, there are some channels that are going to be paywalled and that's via warps. You can get some of these warps by inviting some people, or you can get some warps by purchasing these. They are very inexpensive, and you can also get them just by inviting your friends, and some people can tip them to you. There's different ways to get warps. Like, it's super easy, it's, it's nothing crazy, but you shouldn't really need a bunch of warps. There's only a few channels that will ask you to pay some warps to join, and like, they're few and far between. Now to scroll through and just get a random feed, just select, select all channels. This will basically just show all kinds of different posts. And if you see something start to vibe or a person that you like, you can follow them and then see what channels they are in. 
I've already selected a couple of favorites you guys can see over here. Like definitely frames. I really like the frames and they actually have a category for frames itself. The reason why I like frames is because you can do a bunch of different things with it. You can mint NFTs, you can get some airdrops, you can claim some tokens, all kinds of stuff. And it's definitely like a, a fun experience over here. What a frame is, is it's basically this frame. Yeah, get it? Frame. It's basically a frame inside this tweet. This allows you to make the direct interaction with the app or the thing that you are using directly on the platform. So on Twitter, if you wanted to go watch a YouTube video, you click the link and it takes you to YouTube. Whereas here, using a frame, it will play it directly for you. Or like if you're minting some NFTs and someone's like, hey, go mint my NFT and they share it on Twitter, it takes you to OpenSea or wherever it's minting on. However, on Farcaster, you can mint it directly in the app. So like, just to show you what some of these interactions look like, like, would you like a beer? No, not really, but uh, we're just gonna click it and show you. So it says, give me a beer. And then it says, okay, you drank one beer. It's just like a interaction with this. Or you can have something that allows you to enter and check your results. Okay, let's see what we got. Did we get it? Oh, you registered for the giveaway. Okay, cool, cool, awesome. Now let's see if, oh, so sorry, you didn't win, unfortunately. <laughs> so maybe in the future you'll win something. Um, or like minting this collection. Sometimes it takes you to Azora because they didn't integrate their frame properly, or it will allow you to mint it. Like this one is going to take us to a different site. You can see here, mint, and it has us open a different page. Um, so what should we call a recurating on Frameboard? So just name it whatever you want. I don't know, I save then it'll do the interaction directly into the app for you. Here's an example of like minting something. Let's get framed. So we click get framed and we basically go ahead and get a name. So I don't know, let's call it Drake on digital and we'll do mint. So boom, we just minted our frame for Drake on digital. Just like there. Look ma, I got framed. So boom, I'm, I'm framed and that's it. I can retweet this, I can recast, I can reshare. It's literally just like a Twitter. Now the next part is where it gets fun. This is where you can tip people and you can like, reply, repost, recast, do what you need to do. And this is all directly through the home feed. And then you also have the trending tab to where if you find something cool and you feel like it's uh, worthy of giving it or getting a tip, etc., you can go ahead and tip this out. Now, speaking of tips, you do need to make sure a couple of things are done. That wallet that you link up to your uh, Warpcast account, that wallet is going to need at least 10,000 DGEN in it for you to get started with this airdropping program. Right now we are on the second airdrop and this is season three. You're basically going to be able to get more DGEN that is tipped to you by being active, engaging, and of course, if you just tag me, I'll send you some DGEN. I have a daily allocation myself that I'm going to be rewarding and giving out to other people. Season one and season two have already passed. If you signed up for Warpcast and you're already using this, you have some tokens to claim, so you can go claim it over there. But going back to this, you do need 10,000 DGEN just sitting in your wallet. So DGEN is currently around four cents now, but you can buy 10,000 of this DGEN and simply just hold it in your wallet and you can participate in the airdrop campaign. Now, going back to this, I have some DGEN in my wallet. I'm going to go to my profile and my homepage because I wanna show you guys this integration so you guys can see. This allows you to see how much of the daily allowance that you have. So I'm gonna click my stats and just see what I have. I currently have 991 DGEN that I can go ahead and give out. I have 11,702 points and I got some tips and from liquidity mining. So this basically means I have 11,000 DGEN token for season three. So now when I want to tip someone, all I gotta do is go to the homepage and then, okay, Benji, I won't, okay, cool, awesome. Let me go ahead and just tip you just because I'm doing a video. So I'm just gonna say, hey, here is 50 DGEN and I'm going to reply, and he will get tipped some DGEN. It takes a little bit of time to process, but a bot will automatically say, boom, hey, you just gave some DGEN. Now your daily allocation is going to be determined on your engagement and how active you are. At first, you start out with like no DGEN. And if you go under my profile right here, I'll go ahead and retweet this, that way you guys can see this. 
Let's go ahead and retweet this again. Now, if you go under my profile, you'll be able to use this. You will click my stats and then you can retweet this yourself. This in general will give you your daily allocation, what you have. You can also do this directly on the dgen.tips website. I'll leave a link in the description below for this as well, but this will tell you your daily allocation that you do have. And this resets every single day. So if I have a thousand DGEN to give out today, that means after I give it all out, I'll be able to give out a thousand more tomorrow and the cycle rinses and repeats. Now, if you are the type of person who's like, I'm not a social bug, I don't like to comment, I don't like to grind, I don't like to do this stuff, but I have a lot of money, you can go the route of liquidity mining. This is where you're basically LPing some DGEN and ETH in a Uniswap V3 pool. You can just go the infinite range. I mean, you wanna be careful with like impermanent loss, but this is something that you guys can use. Yeah, adding to the pool comes with the risk and impermanent loss. This is going to be coming to a end pretty soon, but right now they have the liquidity mining program going on, but just stay up to date this for this page to see what you can claim. This will be ending on April 11th, but I'm sure they will be topping it up and doing it again. You can also farm in the Aerodrome, Degen, and ETH LP pool. Now keep in mind, you will not be getting any of the Degen tokens as rewards. Instead, you will be getting some of the Aero rewards. So that is another way you can farm the DGEN token. But going back to Warpcast, after you realize, oh, this is tipping, this is cool, whatever. Now what else can we do? Well, use it like you normally would on Twitter. You can actually get a lot of alpha in here. So if you want to find some different things, like let's say free airdrops, you can go to this channel that talks about some airdrops. This guy really doesn't have so much, so we're going to look for another channel. Here's one called LP. I actually like this one. This is actually a community coin. They have the TN100X token, <laughs> the next 100X meme coin. That is the whole name of it. But this is their own little token that they have. They have their own little uh, liquidity incentive program. You guys can go ahead and check that out and figure that out for yourselves. And you can also go to the leaderboard to see all the stuff. You, you're basically tipping hams to people. You can do DGEN in here as well, but they also do ham. Uh, you can learn more in like their Telegram channel and ask about it, but I'm just going to be like, yo, um, 100 ham. And we'll give them some ham. There you go. And I basically just tipped them 100 ham. Um, this one has its own leaderboard and you can view that just based on the um, pinned tweet that they have for the chat itself, which is right here. Basedhelp.xyz. And then you have the floaties for ham.fun. This is like their latest integration for uh, tipping ERC-20 coins instantly, but you can click on this frame and get started with it. But again, guys, this is like Twitter, but in a decentralized manner. The biggest things you guys need to remember with this is when you set up your profile, you need to connect your wallet. Next is if you are looking to get into the tipping game, make sure you have some DGEN tokens. And lastly is keep your eyes open. Be ready for the alpha. Like there is a bunch of alpha in here that is more so um, niche and it's towards the base chain and that's what it's catered to. A lot of people are mainly on Twitter and everyone's over there and you can find a lot of alpha in this, especially from one dude called Jesse Polak. This guy is basically one of the main devs over at base and you can see what this guy is doing, who he is following different tokens he is picking up on because if he starts talking about this like on twitter or outside of warpcast you can bet your buns it's probably going to be doing really well i mean he's one of the main base devs so i mean <laughs> he's probably going to give it the uh blessings now the last thing i want to show you guys is how to make some casts on warpcast so all you would need to do is you select cast and let's say Hey, I'm making, whoops, a video on YouTube about warp cast. And then you would select where you want to put this in. Depending on the channel that you're wanting to go through, that is going to determine where it's posted. I'm already following a couple of different channels. So I'm going to put this one directly into warp cast because I feel like it is related to warp cast. So I'll do warp cast and they have one specifically that has 16.4 thousand followers in it. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cast and it will post it in there, in that category. You can also choose to follow this channel and if you want to browse a couple of other channels, you guys can do that as well. You would mainly go to the explore tab and you would select channels. Once you go under these channels, you can see something that relates to you or something that you would like and you can read about each of them. So like OP stack, this is about optimism, obviously. Um, collaboratively experimental content stream founder stuff camera okay then you got farcon you got outcast you got swatches on chain blocks this is, this is a cool little uh collection you got bear chain you got <laughs> bald um food dev you can scroll through and look at all these different channels and sometimes you can actually type into some of the channels and see if it pulls up so let's say I want to look for a channel called airdrop because maybe there's some channels out there for some airdrops. Well, you have some names and then you have different channels. So this is basically a airdrop channel right here. So you can scroll through and see the different airdrops. So like, oh, look, you can go claim your Camino finance airdrop. So you can go to that link, go claim it. Make sure you guys are careful with like scam links and whatnot. But this is how you would scroll through and look for different things like this. Or you can be like, hey, I want to find some meme coins. So you type in meme. This is basically, this one is mainly just memes in general. And you have different memes. I know this one is paid to post, but you can actually scroll through and take a look in this. This one is actually pretty funny. I actually tweeted this meme managing my 69. Well, mine wasn't 69. It was like $10 portfolio. I made that post like a week ago. But yeah, you can scroll through and make different posts. This is full of memes, so it's just fun. And if you just want something that's like, hey, I don't know what to look for, I don't know what I'm doing, you can simply go to the trending and then see who's going viral and see who's getting a lot of engagement for some different things. So like this guy, I'm out of DGen, more replies, more art, more tips, cool. So maybe this guy will give you some DGen if you're replying on his comments type of thing. So that's how you would make some casts and then find some different channels to follow. Anyways, guys, uh, that is how you get started with Warpcast and Farcaster. Farcaster is more of the broader term of the decentralized social media movement. They have a couple of products under them. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, tell me what you guys think of the video. And if you guys would like to get started with Warpcast, you guys can check out the links in the description below. I really think this is a good opportunity. Why? Because you can basically farm these tokens for free. I'm bullish on the DGen token as well as a couple of the other Farcaster and base tokens. But if you guys would like to join the exclusive Discord, the link is in the description below as well for that. I will be sharing content that I don't share on YouTube. It will also give you access to the full airdrop spreadsheet as well as the different plays in the market. Thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, let's hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 18, verses 20. From the fruit of their mouth, a person's stomach is filled. With the harvest of their lips, they are satisfied. Be good, be righteous, peace. Oh, one other thing, guys. If you guys are farming this DGen token, make sure you guys are being active and engaging. This will boost the daily allocation of the DGen token that you have and you will be able to claim this later. Season three will be claimable, I would say at the end of the month, maybe in May. But if you have airdrop season two rewards, make sure you guys go claim those because those do expire. Make sure you at least check the site. I'll leave it in the description below. And if you guys want your first tip of DGen, when you guys join Warpcast, be like, yo Drake, can I get some DGen? And I will send you some DGen and tip you away. Peace out guys.